In this video, we're going to do a full two and a half minute robot run with a simple robot with two motors, uh, two light sensors. I, really, I only think I use one of them. Um, and uh, uh, that's gonna score 420 points. Now, the ideas are, are pretty, the attachments are, are pretty simple uh, and you've seen them in my videos before, but this video is to give you some ideas to uh, how to string together different missions because um, you know that's important to be able to use uh, the attachments and be able to order your missions in the most effective way. So without further ado, let's just get into it. As you can see, I've got all of my uh, equipment that I'm going to be using in the match, my robot, all the attachments and stuff, very comfortably fits in the small inspection area, um, including the 12-inch um, ceiling. Um, everything that I, I need is there. I've got everything else that I don't need out of the way, so it's not you know going to bother me during my during my match. Uh, I've got uh, everything pretty much ready to go. I'm going to kind of set my robot out here and get some stuff set up to make my life easier. I'm going to preload my quick fill cartridge. I'm going to organize some stuff very briefly of my uh, innovation project model. And then before I do anything else, uh, I am going to make sure I give the field a good look over and make sure everything is how it should be because referees and field officials are only human sometimes they make mistakes and sometimes things just uh, aren't perfectly right on the field you want to make sure especially with mission models that you're interacting with that everything is how it should be according to the rule book uh, check the airplane cargo the trucks lined up right the the airdrop's good to go, the train track's up, the, the airplane and the truck are fine, the engine's in the right spot, the, un, uh, the hinged blue container is in its spot. Um, double check all of this stuff before you start your run. I have a two and a half minute timer here, so you know this is all uh, live, this isn't cut or edited together. I'm gonna press go and we're going to do our match and once i've given the field a good look over and i'm ready to go and i'm comfortable with what's happening i uh, get the two technicians that are starting the match which don't have to be the same two technicians that actually stay there once somebody does something they can leave the table and another technician can actually come to the table um, once everybody's comfortable ready to go you give your your thumbs up and when everybody in the room is ready they'll say three two one lego and that's when you start
That is a full two and a half minute run. Let's score it together. Let's see. Uh, start with the cargo plane. It's separated from the plane and unloaded. Uh, the engine is switched to electric. One truck is latched to the bridge. Both bridge things are down. The train track is repaired and the trains are moved all the way and latched. Airdrop is disconnected. The cargo bridge is, uh, or cargo ship is uh, unloaded and past its uh, designated uh, marker. And obstacle avoidance is uh, initiated at the end um, for 30 points. And got my mission model completely in the circle. Obstacle avoidance, uh, or I'm sorry, airdrop from the other teams completely in the circle. And I'm assuming that they put mine in the circle as well. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four uh, containers, five containers completely in a circle and uh, the blue unused capacity container is full for that 30 points as well. So it is definitely possible to score a ton of points with just a small little robot like this. This is a pretty basic robot with just some really basic attachments. And you know what? They're consistent and that's the key to scoring a lot of points uh, in first Lego League, being consistent that's the key to, to winning first lego league is consistency being able to put up a good number in the robot game and really the rest is in the judging rooms and core values and um how how well of a team and how awesome of young human beings you are that's how you win first lego league the robot game is just a small small part but uh that's a 420 points with this guy is awesome. This is my mini max robot. It's got a motor in the front, a motor in the back. It's, it's, it's a really cool little robot. If you haven't built this robot yet, you should, you should consider building. It's got two light sensors on the bottom. Uh, super compact. I mean, the things, the things small, you can, I can almost hide it with my hand, but really the key to winning first Lego league isn't truly in the robot game. Uh, it's just a small part. Uh, winning first Lego League has to do with learning and has to do with being awesome young human beings. But I hope this inspired you to do well in the robot game because uh, you do want to do well in the robot game. It's the second most visible part to first Lego League next to uh, learning and core values and just being awesome young human beings. Uh, but um, I hope this inspired you even with a small simple robot, none of the nothing fancy, just simple ideas, simple uh, inspiration. I hope this inspired you to uh, have an awesome robot game and give you some ideas for strategy as to why uh, or how to string a whole bunch of missions together uh, in, a, in an effective way. So good luck and I'll see you in the next mission inspiration robot game first lego league in general inspiration video y'all are awesome see you soon